This video will demonstrate how to use Nanomaterial Modeler to build a silica nanoparticle and slab with different surface chemistry. Silicon dioxide, also known as silica, is most commonly found in quartz and certain living organisms. Silica has several distinct crystalline forms, or polymorphs, in addition to amorphous forms. The stable form under normal conditions is alpha quartz, in which crystalline silicon dioxide is usually encountered. The high temperature forms, cristobalite and tritomite, are also present and have lower densities than quartz. Currently, Nanomaterial Modeler provides two types of silica, alpha cristobalite and alpha quartz. For our first example, we will build a spherical silica nanoparticle with a radius of 60 angstroms in a 0.1 molar potassium chloride buffer solution. First, click the Nanomaterial Type button and choose Silica Alpha Cristobalite. Note that the currently selected material region is updated after selecting a specific material. To create a spherical silica nanoparticle with surface modification, select Sphere in the Nanomaterial Shape section. This reveals the Sphere Options section. The radius defines the approximate size of the nanoparticle in angstroms, and you can adjust the contents of the surface by setting the ionization percent between 0% to 50%. In this demo, we set the radius to 30 angstroms and the degree of ionization to 13.3%. The last option to consider is the system type. In this tutorial, we solvate the nanoparticle in a 0.1 molar potassium chloride buffer solution. We'll leave the system type as solvated. Click the Next button to proceed. We can check the generated structure by clicking View Structure. As shown in previous tutorials, Nanomaterial Modeler provides two methods to adjust the water box size, specify water box size, and fit water box size to material size. Let's select specify water box size and change the box size from 69 to 80 for X, from 70 to 80 for Y, and from 73 to 80 for Z respectively. In the add ions section, change the ion concentration from 0.15 molar to 0.1 molar. Note that you must recalculate the number of ions after making any change. After clicking the Calculate Number of Ions button, click the Next button to proceed. If the generated structure is different from what you expected, you can retrieve your Charm GUI project using Job Retriever. Copy your job ID and click Job Retriever in the Input Generator menu. Paste your job ID into the Job ID text box and click the Submit button. Job Retriever then displays the project name, step number, and recovery link for each step of your project. In this demo, we will change the type of buffer and thickness of the buffer solution layer. Click the Go link in step 1 to return to the previous step. Change the X, Y, and Z values of the box size to 85 angstroms. In the Add Ions section, select Sodium Chloride in the drop-down menu. After recalculating the number of ions, click the Next button to proceed to PBC options. We should recheck the solvated system generated from the previous step by clicking View Structure. Use the default PPC option, Generate Grid Information for PME FFT automatically, and click the Next button. In this step, select the simulation software you want to run your simulation. After checking the software, set the temperature for equilibration and production runs. Click the Next button in the bottom right to generate simulation inputs. After a few minutes, download all input and output files by clicking the Download button. Nanomaterial Modeler also provides a method to model a silica surface with different surface chemistry. For our second example, we will build an alpha cristobalite slab with different surface models. First, choose the nanomaterial type silica alpha cristobalite and select box as the shape. Let's set system size for X, Y, and Z to 50, 50, and 30 respectively. Before starting to perform surface modifications, let's first examine the periodic options. Periodic Options defines the periodicity of the nanomaterial along each axis. To model an infinite surface, or slab, parallel to the XY plane, we choose X and Y periodic options. When X and Y periodic options are selected, the surface concentration of SiOH option appears in the Surface Modifications section. The surface hydroxyl group concentration is 4.7 units per square nanometer by default. You can modify this value from 0 to 9.4. 
we choose a 4.7 units per square nanometer, or Q3 form of alpha cristobalite surface, and the degree of ionization as 13.3% based on a pH of 7. The last option for users to consider is the system type. In this demo, we choose the solvated option. Click the next button to proceed to the solvent options page. You should check the alpha cristobalite surface structure by clicking View Structure. As we expected, hydroxy functional groups are present on the surfaces of the silica slab. For our third example, we'll model a different silica surface, the Q4 form. Starting from the beginning, the nanomaterial type, shape, size, and periodic options are exactly the same as with the previous silica surface example. Change the surface concentration of silanol from 4.7 to 0. Click the Next button to proceed to the Solvent Options page. We can check the Q4-alpha cristobalite surface structure by clicking View Structure. As we expected, there are no longer any silanol groups on the surfaces. In the water box size options, let's increase the z-value from 37 to 67 angstroms in the specify water box size section to make a 15 angstrom water layer for both the top and bottom side. Note that the x and y values cannot be modified because we chose the xy periodic option in the previous step. In the add ions section, let's select add neutralizing ions and click the calculate number of ions button. Click the next button to proceed to the PBC options page. You can check the solvated Q4 alpha cristobalite structure by clicking View Structure. Note that the final system size may be slightly different from the initial values of 50, 50, and 30 since the system size is approximated by an integer multiple of the unit cell size. Click the Next button to proceed to the input generation step. In this step, select the simulation software you want to run your simulation. After checking the software, set the temperature for equilibration and production runs. Click the Next button in the bottom right to generate simulation inputs. After a few minutes, download all input and output files by clicking the Download button. You can check the files of all previous steps after decompressing the TGZ file and read a simulation example in the README file under each simulation software directory.